You guys might have the Two Bears hats, but now there are Two Bears custom shoes designed by the great Mosh. He's done some of the wildest sneaker designs for entertainers and athletes, and he has done them for us. us. Custom Two Bears shoes. You can get them at moshcustoms.com. The pre-order starts 12, 17 at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, closing Monday on the 20th at 11 a.m. Go to moshcustoms.com. That's M-A-C-H-E customs.com. Do you want a beer? No. Why not? It's nine in the morning. Um, I just honestly feel like that anytime that I drink in the daytime, I just immediately want to sleep. Yeah, so, that's, that's the whole point. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want to go to sleep. What do you have to do today? Go to sleep, Tommy. You're so responsible. Hundred <laughs> percent. This podcast is brought to you by Skylight Frames. Skylight Frames are the best gift you can give anyone. I have bought no less than 15 of them. I've given them to my mom, my dad, my sisters. I gave them to my friends. I'll tell you why I gave them to my friends. It's super easy. Give them this frame. It's like a 10-inch frame, matte, black, beautiful. It looks gorgeous. You can use your fingers to swipe through pictures. You can grab a picture, save it. It's awesome. But why I gave them to them is that super easy. You can preload it if you'd like, but you send pictures to an email, and then they upload to that frame. It's a great way to stay in touch with your family while, you know, everyone's away from each other these days. Why I gave it to my friends is I can send pictures of myself to my friends so that when I go to their house, I see pictures of me. That's what I love. That's the best gift you can give anyone this holiday season. Uh, right now, as a special offer, you can get $10 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter the code BEARS. That's right. Get $10 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame Go to skylightframe.com and enter the code BEARS. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E.com. And the promo code's BEARS. Steaks make me fart. Like red meat. Can I tell you, I, that's so funny you say that because part of me was like, last night we were ordering and I thought, maybe I should get salmon. Because you've been farting a lot? A lot. Dude, I ripped. I was ripping them this morning. Peter came into my room to wake me up. And he just has a key to my room. He just comes in. He's like, Bertie boy, you up? I was like, yeah. And I was naked in bed, just ripping farts, taking my blood pressure medicine. I, put, I mean, I, that guy must have. Ooh. Ooh, slick Nadav. Hey, how's your weight loss going, accountability, buddy? Uh, you know, it's going. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Nadav, might I suggest coming out as fat? <laughs> it's been working. This... It's been working great for me. <laughs> no, but I, but I was I was I was ripping farts. I, last time was my first time having a bone in ribeye. Ever? Whatever you had. What do we have? Bone in ribeye. Yeah. Yeah. I don't ever get a bone in ribeye. I always get fillet. Really? Yeah. And and a fillet sits in me like a rock. Like I eat a fillet, and I'm the next morning my stomach's tight, and I'm like, God damn it, man! It's a, like too much like direct protein. Uh huh. And I'm not kind of guy that leaves much of a steak around, unlike you, who left half of your fucking ribeye there. Yeah, that's what I do. Can I tell you, I, I ate mine so fast that I was like, did I get a smaller one than everyone else? <laughs> did you see how fast I ate mine? I ate mine so fucking fast. See, the, the reason I, le I I feel like it, it's just too much, but I like the way they taste, so I eat like half of them, and I just, I don't care. I just go, yep. And then they go, do you want me to box this up? And I'm like... No, I can buy another one tomorrow. So <laughs> I always say yes. I always say yes. Yeah. I always say yes, box it up, please. And then I fucking eat it. So um, I farted as soon as I got home like 40 times. And like red meat just fucking, I don't know, man. I, I can't do it more than like once every couple weeks. No, I'm doing it every night. Steaks? Uh, every night. We have it as snacks at the end of the day. Snacks? Yeah, Dave grills up like three steaks, three different bonus. Let's talk about steaks. Let's talk about steaks. We have dry aged steak. Uh huh. Tom, hot question: Is dry aged worth it? I think it is. But it's it's basically they just let it fungus. Yeah, and it creates, and then you can dry age past a certain point where it's like not even salvageable. It's all about like that window of time right like there's like a 45 day dry like i know that you have to like really watch how you dry age it but i don't know enough about it but it's it's like 
I think it's a. I can't. I mean, it tastes a little funky. Yeah, it's supposed to. Huh. So that's like a marinade. Well, I don't think it's a marinade. It's it's like a nat. Oh, I guess you cut like a natural style. Marinade. And does it make it more tender? That I don't know. What's the difference between dry aged and wet aged in Dodge? In the Dodge. <laughs> that's my new. That's my new yeah. catchphrase. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. The biggest difference between the two kinds of meats is then the flavor. Dry can be a roasted, nutty flavor, while wet age has a slightly metallic. It oh, yeah. lacks the same depth of flavor. Okay. But you guys are eating steaks every oh, day? Fuck. I am so glad I came out as fat. <laughs> How come? This is so tasty. It's a treat. It's a morning treat. Yeah. This is so good. <laughs> It, it tastes like candy. Wait, it's like, why wouldn't you want candy? Do you candy? realize that like a month ago, like now you've come out as fat. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to start losing weight now that I came out as fat. Well, I hope you don't. What What's if, the what point if of because the... I accept myself, I start losing weight? Because I did not eat like a lunatic last night. I mean, I ate fast, but like I, I've had a few fries. I had, um, I had mostly that spinach and onion thing. Okay. It was really good too. That place is really good. I've Doesn't eaten there before. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. I've eaten there three times. Three times? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Can I tell you? I had I, I did radio. I did radio one time with you. You were doing Ron and Be- Ron Bennington, uh-huh. and I did radio across the street. It was when the, Ron's like, "Bert, what's happening to you? You're falling apart out there." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" It was like right after Christmas when I was like, I did a video where I was like, talked about being fat or whatever. I don't fuck whatever. And so, uh, count how many times I burped today. You want me to count? That was a silent one. <laughs> I've, I've eaten that restaurant a lot. <laughs> what? You're so fucking... I'm falling apart. <laughs> so, <laughs> last night you were like... <laughs> You smoking a cigar and you're like, oh. you go. You go. What time do we start? I'm like, I'll pick you up at seven fifteen. And you're like, all right, well, I can take a nap on a plane. We can party all day. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I don't know how your your recovery gene is just insanity, man. I don't know. I don't think I, well, I had good dreams last night, and so I and you had then, sex dreams. I had sex dreams about Leanne. She was yes. kind of, she was kind of drunk and drugged in them. She was like drugged. You know, it's like it's like she took like a Tylenol PM, uh-huh. but she was like she kept falling asleep in the dream, and then she'd wake up and then kiss me, and then and she was wearing a robe and it was like half open, and you could tell she wanted to party, and and we were staying with you and Christina, and but you had a Tesla. And she kept going, let's take the Tesla out. Let's take the Tesla out. Like, the idea that Leanne wants to fuck me makes me very turned on. Like, the idea that she will want to, as opposed to, like, tonight I'm coming home, and she knows she has to fuck me. Like, she, like it's like, it's kind of like, you know, you just pay the toll. Yeah. I'm the grumpy old troll yeah. who lives under the bridge. Do your kids watch Door of the Explorer? No. Okay. Um, but so... That's less sexy when she's like, let's get this out of the way. Yeah. As opposed to when she wants to, you're like. Oh, totally different. Right. Yeah. What are the What are the odds that. Yeah, let's break one off because I know that you're going to be insufferable if you don't. Yeah. And That's... by the way, I will be insufferable. Why is that? Like if I don't have sex the second I land. That's how, That's when you want it? Oh, I need it. I need it. I need to get it out of the way. So I don't think about it. So I think about it. Then I start like almost starting fights. Before it can even like, I mean, like it's like I, I'm. I, I, Leanne calls it planting my seed. Like I need to plant my seed, and then once there, I'm good. I'm I'm like I've been grounded. I'm home. Yeah. So like some people get get off a long flight and take their shoes off and rub their feet on the ground, and that grounds them. I need to put my dick into something. Something. Someone, and her name rhymes with Leanne. It's Leanne. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's Leanne. Okay. Yeah, I was. uh I was I was I had like a few sex dreams about her last night. Really? Yeah. And then I was like, I'm. What sucks is when you have them and you're not going home for a week. Yeah. But I'm going home today. Yeah. 
and then she's picking me up at the airport. We're going straight to the studio, and then, and then I'd probably, I'd probably be fucking passed out. So when will you have sex with her? I don't know. Can I tell you what's making me really upset? Yeah. Because I woke up today and I was like, oh, I'm gonna see Leah. My dick's getting hard right now. Right now? Kinda. Yeah. Just not like not like just chubbed up. Just like a little extra. Like he's it's, it's like, yeah, we're going. We are going home, buddy. We are going home. Yeah. If your dick could talk to you, what would it sound? What would it sound like when it talked? My dick. Yeah. Um. Oh, Tom. Yeah, it'd probably sound like. Uh. <laughs> Do it again. Nah. <laughs> Tom. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's laying to the left right now. It's kind of like eh, it's tired, wait, you know. Wait, okay, so then when when you, well, tell me what your dick sounded like in college. Hey, <laughs> a little more spry. My dick in college is more timid. My dick now is a little more bold. Really? Yeah. Now he's like, oh come on, man. You fucking serious? That's how he talks now. Yeah. Yeah, if if Christina's vagina could talk, what would it sound like? Uh, <laughs> stop! Why does it hurt? Do you do you? Is your sex game pretty much the same? Like when you get home, yeah, meat and potatoes. Yeah, yeah. She want, she she has no interest in in the razzle dazzle. I brought it up. I've tried it. And it's just, she does this like, like thing where she cuts you in half, where she's like, are you trying to do something? And you're like, not now. Oh, yeah. And so you're like, okay. Like, I remember one time I was like, hey, do you want me to tie you up? And she's like, why? And I was like, I, I don't know why. I was like, I, try something. people do it. I don't like, did you want to try something? And she's like, no, I, I like what we're doing. I'm like, oh, I know, but maybe if we did something else. She's like, uh-uh. The one time, one time she came out. I was I was trying to talk about this on stage. She, we bought a, I bought lingerie that you could get like the just the prepackaged ones. Like mm-hmm. if you go to one of these sex stores that are littered all over Austin, yeah, they just have them on the wall, and it's like, nurse, doctor, fireman, like not fireman. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right, Nadav? You go to those sex stores. Come on, Nadav. What Wait, do you, you mean? Were, Nadav. <laughs> yeah. Weren't you guys supposed to be accountability buddies? Yeah, we were supposed to. <laughs> so what happened? Uh, Bert completely stopped uh, sending pictures. Well, yeah, because my pictures were like 20 fries in my mouth. And, 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 I, <clears throat> and but I then think- I sent you that pizza. <laughs> What's that? I sent you a picture of that pizza just okay. to kind of like, you know, inspire and motivate. <laughs> All right, well, here's what I'm drinking now, Nadav. <laughs> Texting it to you now, kind of bill buddy. And it's fucking so good. What? An iced soy latte. Sweet. Do you know what I saw? What? So you know how you saw that one of those Starbucks big places? Reserves, yeah. They had a Subway Cafe. Subway Cafe? Like It was like a high-end Subway. Where? In Milwaukee. Right next to the Riverside Theater. Did you go? Uh, no, because I was like, I'm going to get fucking lunch. I'm not going to just, I don't want to see them razzle-dazzle up a fucking sub. Like, yeah, sub, high-end Subway Cafe. Oh, you see it? Uh, get, it says. So, Jesus Christ. There you go. Subway goes upscale. With new Subway cafes. Can I tell you that I think Hooters should go more, um, High end? No, no, no. Lower. I think what they should do is do like Hooters drive throughs and stuff. Because I love, the, like, I understand the allure of Hooters is the, like, the, the, the shine is the, is the women, right? Right. Like, that's the women. But like, let's be very honest. And even with the complaints that they've had about the new outfits, I've, I've heard there was complaints. What are the new outfits? I don't know. Google new outfits of Subway or of uh, uh, Hooters. Hooters. Oh, are they complaining because they're too cover up? I, can you go to? Oh, what new crotch string uniform? That's awesome. What are they complaining? Yeah, about? I don't understand. <laughs> Who's complaining? Here's the thing: it's like this. I, I don't mean to. Oh, the employees are pushing back. Oh, 
I thought it was like people were like, oh, they don't show anything anymore. <laughs> 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 These are great. No, I think I well. Here's the thing: is like when I, I go to Hooters, know. I don't really. I'm not. I, I genuinely am not like looking at their outfits because I mean, no, no. This is gonna sound creepy, but they're wearing tights anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like, it's kind of like it's not the sexiest thing in the world, and most girls are. There are very few like uh, big busted spilling out of their top women. They're just regular women. Yeah. So the, the and and by the way, if I want to see naked women, I'll go onto my phone. And look at porn, yeah. or I'll go to a strip club and see a legit naked woman. Yeah, and I don't want to. I don't know if I need to marry the sexiness with the eating. And I understand that was the selling point, but that was that was selling point in the '80s yeah. when porn was almost like when strip clubs were under fire and yeah. porn was under fire, and they were like, "We're throwing it back to the man." And it's it's it was it's the same energy as like I was like bar stool, the chive is like the, the man show. Bros can be bros. This is where you come to be bros. Yeah, and. I buy the the food at Hooters is fucking awesome. Like I like the food at Hooters. Wings. I like the wings. I the their buffalo shrimp. Yeah. I yeah. could eat twenty before you even know they've hit the table. I could eat twenty. I I have eaten those so fast that people go, I didn't get one. And I yeah. go, yeah, I know. Their grouper sandwich, their fried grouper sandwich, and their grilled grouper sandwich, black and grouper sandwiches yeah. are awesome. There's I chicken actually, sandwich. I will say this to you. I think I've told you this before. My whole life, people have been like, yo, man. To me, they go, you eat fast. Like, you need to f why don't you slow down? And you make me seem like I'm a grandmother eating her fucking oatmeal. Like, <laughs> I've never seen anybody eat as fast as you. I don't. I, when I watch, when I try to slow down, yeah, uh, it's almost like purposefully driving slow on the interstate like uh -huh. like imagine getting on the interstate and then driving 44 yeah like that and then you're like this is stupid i can't do it i eat scrambled eggs so fast that i don't really even taste them and i feel like it happens so quickly i don't even like those calories shouldn't count right do you burn your mouth a lot all the time it's burnt right now it's burnt right now from when we had the the pizza plate mm. That yesterday, yesterday with the pizza plate, and then I burn it again at the at the. I, I burn it nonstop. I burn the inside of my gums and the outside of my gums. But like, I, I just I don't. I eat so fucking. My mouth's watering again. You know what we should do? We should get Lee me tied up to wires and stuff, and see what happens to my body when we talk about food. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just right now. Now all I'm thinking about is making eggs. I know Annie's got eggs in there. Dude, I Why don't we get some uh, breakfast tacos or breakfast... Uh, breakfast burritos! Burritos delivered. Fuck yeah. Guys, order find a breakfast burrito. I so badly want to just get on my phone and go, here's the one we want to get. Um, I I, I eat scrambled eggs. So how many eggs do you eat when you eat egg, egg scrambled eggs or egg whites, whatever? Uh, a total of seven with five whites and two yolks. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Yeah. I always eat... I mean... Four is like the least amount of eggs I can eat scrambled. Yeah. Like Leanna has one scrambled egg. What? Yeah. She'll have one scrambled egg. And then what I'll do, if I'm making eggs for her in Georgia and Isla, I'll put make five eggs. And then they all get a little extra yeah. eggs. I like my eggs really runny. You do? I, like what I like to do is scramble them in the bowl, right? Yeah. Then leave that remnants in the bowl, that dry, that wetness yeah. in the bowl. Scramble my eggs, pull them out even wet. And put them back in with where I scrambled them and eat them out of there. Really? The worst fart I've ever had in my life, the worst fart I've ever had was after I ate a raw egg. I ate a full raw, I poured it, I put it in a beer and I ate a full raw egg. It was like eight in the morning. We were watching soccer somewhere and I, and they were, I don't know, I think it was my idea, but I was like, let's have like a, let's have a breakfast beer with an egg in it. And that we were in Denver, and they were they were like, I don't think that's a thing. I was like, Of course it is. See if an egg and a beer is a thing, Nadav. I have an egg and a beer now. Uh, Reason why people put a raw egg in a beer. It's a hangover remedy. Protein fix, pop culture, cocktail trick. Okay. 
Irish breakfast, I have one. It's the worst farts I'd ever had in my fucking life. Really? I mean, it was, it smelled like something was rotten. Like, I mean, like the kind of fart where you're like, that's not real. Like yeah. that's. The made up fart. Dude, that was one of the most aggressive fucking farts I've ever had in my life. I could go for scrambled eggs. I'd go for a breakfast burrito. <laughs> I mean, all this, what if this show is just me? This is the. <laughs> The prologue into my 600 pound life. <laughs> and people are like, no, you like him on my 600 pound life? Do you want to see how he got there? Like, everyone wonders how you get that big. Watch Two Bears, One Cave, and he's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't think you are, though. That's the funny thing about you is that you go so hard, but you seem to stay right around where you've been. Right now. By the way, I can maintain a weight, and then I, at certain times, I just go off the rails. And then. I can feel myself getting fat. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. How about when I came out to as fat to Joe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> Ari's gotten skinny as shit. Ari? Yeah, he looks like unhealthy skinny. See, the thing is, there's two types of old men. There's skinny old men, and there's fat old men. No, there aren't fat old there men. There are not all fat old men. Ooh, yeah. I think I would have to lose weight if I plan on being an old man. Type in fat old man. Let's see what we got. Fat old men, they're not that old. Oh. What's that? If you're that fat, you're not that old. Like that guy's probably 64. You know? Yeah. He's not that old. That guy's not that old either. Ernest Hemingway was a fat old man. That's oh, okay. I'm not that fat. Jesus. Good God. Oh, my God. Do you want to be that guy? <laughs> no. Just sitting with my walker. Type in fat gay old man. I bet that's a fucking good look. This is going to bring up a different type of image. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's not old, though. <laughs> Dude. I, that could be you. That could be me. He's eating 10,000 calories a day. Today's episode is brought to you by Whoop, the personalized digital fitness and health coach. Monitor your recovery, sleep, training, and health with personalized recommendations and coaching feedback with Whoop. I have mine on, as you can see. I never take this thing off. Uh, you can train smarter, recover faster, sleep better, and now feel healthier with Whoop and their all-new Whoop 4.0, the latest, most advanced fitness wearable on the market. This thing, the new uh, 4.0 is smaller, smarter, and designed with new biometric tracking, including skin temperature, blood, oxygen, and more. The device also features an all-new smart alarm designed to wake you up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. I love the insight that I'm provided with by my Whoop. I love knowing how I slept. I love knowing what kind of strain I can take on. I love knowing my recovery. The all-new waterproof device is free when you sign up for a Whoop 4.0 membership. For any members, if you have six months left of membership on your account, you can upgrade now and get the 4.0 for free. And right now, Whoop is offering 15% off when you use the code CAVE at checkout. Go to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P.com, enter C-A-V-E at checkout to save 15%. It's holiday season, and you don't know what to get as a gift or a stocking stuffer. Well, today's sponsor, Manscaped, has the tools to guarantee you win this year's stocking stuffer or white elephant competition. Manscaped is the leader in men's below-the-waist grooming, and they have served more than 4 million men worldwide. That's about 8 million testicles, save for a few guys that only have one. If my math is correct, yeah, that's accurate. Uh... Get 20% off, plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash bears. Manscaped's best-selling product is the Performance Package 4.0, which is at the top of every man's wish list this year. Inside, you'll find their lawnmower body trimmer, the best trimmer on the market for your balls, butt, and body, and the Weed Whacker ears and nose hair trimmer. You got to stay well-groomed, and you got to have your stocking ready to be stuffed in some girl's mouth without too much hair on it. So... Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash bears. Be the ballsiest gift giver this year with Manscaped. This episode of Two Bears is also brought to you by Policy Genius. Get your property cold weather ready by making sure you have the right insurance coverage. Policy Genius can help you find home and auto coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. It's never a bad time to find ways to bundle your home and auto insurance and save with Policy Genius. 
Very easy. You head over to policygenius.com slash two bears, one cave, and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Policy Genius will show you price estimates for policies that fit your search and help you understand your options. The Policy Genius team can look for ways for you to save money, and if they find you a better rate than what you are paying now, they'll switch you over for free. That's what I'm talking about. Policy Genius has saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. Head to policygenius.com slash two bears, one cave. That's the number two and the number one. To get your free home and auto insurance quotes and see how much you could save, that's policygenius.com slash the number two bears, one, the number one cave. Now, you know what? Can I tell you my favorite gay men? Yeah. Type in, type in... Okay, this is very specific. I saw a gay uh, picture book of dudes in the Navy naked on boats. Can you pull up Navy naked pictures? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing right now? Whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, of course that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This is what you love? No, no. I, yeah, I love these pictures. These are all, like, back in the day. No, so, back in the day, in the Navy, dudes were just naked all the time. Really? They didn't have bathing suits. You, know, you don't have a bathing suit. You have your clothes. Okay. So, if you were, this is a lot of naked dudes. Of course, this is a fucking gay porn genre. This is a gay fave fetish. Okay, go back. Yeah, like, can you find can you find the actual photographer that took these pictures, Nadav? Like, there's an, an art. There's a photographer that was on a boat and was taking pictures of like like the guys in the navy, just regular guys who were going to war, but they're on the they're boat naked. just fucking naked and swimming, and like everyone's naked and everyone's got hogs on them and everyone's ripped, and it's like it, that's my favorite genre of gay stuff. What? Yeah. Like, okay, think about all the gay stuff you've ever seen, right? Okay. What's the one where you go, oh, that's interesting? Like, I doesn't have to turn you on. Right. Like, bear stuff. Like, when you see that, when I see those those chubby bears and they're just like, like, I think it's fascinating. Dude, I was in a, on the road somewhere. It was either like Vegas or Atlanta or something. Okay. If Starbucks is going to make this little fucking pussy hole up top, then change the structure of your ice. Because the ice is the exact same size as this, and I keep sucking ice like it's a clitoris. I'm like, okay, Starbucks? Coach, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> it is, I think. Okay, keep going. Uh, at ease or men of World War II? Look at this. It's Yeah. It's, oh, it looks like it's at ease. <laughs> no, the other one, the other cover. That right there is what, above it. There you go. That's what you like. That's the. I, I just find that fascinating because there's like, in a weird way, I, I, this is what I think, right? You look at that through the eyes of a closeted gay man on a fucking boat, yeah. and he must have been like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with myself? It's probably They're the all best. naked. Yeah. They all have hogs. They want to wrestle. Yeah. Like, there's re there's they wrestled, and they're naked wrestling. You're in heaven. Look at that. I got gotcha, you, oh, buddy. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> that's like early jujitsu right there look at that got the leg wrapped around him you're not going anywhere until i come <laughs> okay you were you were saying before i talked about starbucks and you do agree with me about starbucks correct yeah, yeah. i have a hard time getting the coffee into my body <laughs> the hard time getting the coffee in your body yeah like watch ready yeah. I, I i almost guarantee I almost guarantee that I have an ice cube in my mouth when I'm done with this. You ready? Okay. Yep. Yeah. So Starbucks, step up your fucking game. If you're gonna treat us like if you're gonna treat us like we live in China, okay? And yeah, because you don't, they don't get to make decisions in China. That's right. Yeah. Um, then and and take away straws because one fucking turtle had a straw in its nose. One fucking turtle. Do you realize the odds of that turtle swimming and the straw going like this? Not that high. Yeah, it's like fucking... And one straw and one turtle's nose, and now we got to suck things through this little 
fucking urethra. It's annoying. And by I, the way, I can't believe you're not on my page more on this. Well, just right now, I I just took a big sip and I didn't get any ice. So I was like, hmm. I bet it happens to me again. Okay. And I'm not even trying. We can both try at the same time. I know, ice cube blockage. Like the... Like the boat that got stuck in the Suez Canal. Keep going. No, I was on the road, and there was clearly a bear convention somewhere. Oh, Jesus. And so it was like you would see a pack. <laughs> That's like me accidentally dudes. walking into an AA meeting. It's like 10 dudes, and they were like real big, and you know, the big beards, but like big fucking guys. Yeah. And you realize there's like 10 or 12 together, and I realized I was, at the time especially, I was like, oh, like, they start looking at me, and then I'm like, oh, they're looking at me because I look like them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. And they were, guys were like, <laughs> what's up over here? Hey. <laughs> and you're like, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> I was like, oh. I remember actually feeling, like, nervous. You know, I was like, oh, let's go this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are a fucking hairy bear. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like dudes doing that, like pinching their own nipples and shit. And looking at you, if a guy like that looks at you and pinches his own nipples, that's an aggressive move. Wow. Right? Jesus. Yeah, they were like, hey, you're one of us, man. See, that, look at that guy, pin on bears on Pinterest. Like, why don't you do your chest hair like that? Do it like that? Yeah, like, how does he do his, so it looks like, it looks like, you know, like. It might grow like that. You're way more of a bear than I am. I'm more of like a cub. A cub? Yeah, cause I, I like I'm not that I'm not super hairy, although my arms are getting hairy. My but my I had a I had a dream. Yeah. I had a dream someone was shaving you. I had a dream last night someone was shaving you. And it was a famous person. And you stepped away for a second. And then I said, "Can you shave my arms real quick?" And they didn't do a very good job, and I was like, "Why does Tom have this guy shaving him?" I swear to God, I dream that someone was shaving you last night, and then I, because my arms are my arms are hairy yeah. right now, like r right here, and it doesn't look good. It there's just splotches, so it looks like I have just like bad skin, and so I need to get shaved tonight. You're gonna get shaved? I'm gonna have my Leanne shave my back and arms. I'm pro I, pro I gotta perform all week. Oh, is this a regular thing? <clears throat> what? Her shaving you? Yeah, she shaves me. I had uh, Rosebud. No, I had uh, Peter shave me last. On the bus. Peter doesn't do a good job because he's kind of grossed out. So he's like, ugh, ugh. Yeah. I was like, hey, man, I'm, I need you to shave me. I'm, fu I'm fucking super hairy. And if I turn around, everyone's like, whoa. And I didn't so, know you did that. I shaved my back. I, sh I would love to get my back lasered. You can. I know. No, we should do that together. Okay. Has it hurt? A little bit. Can we have Can we have people laser our, ba laser our backs hairs while we're here? Yeah, somebody, somebody told me who, who did it. They go... Um, they'll offer you um, something to reduce the pain, like and and you might go like, oh no, I'm good. And he goes, take it. Really? Yeah. Is it, is it a pain pill or just lidocaine? I think it's an injection. Yeah, lidocaine. I don't know about injections. What's that say? Uh, laser hair removal tends to be the more painful way of a bikini line. Who's the chick who got her her the there's a comedian, female comedian, who got her whole bikini waxed, lasered off. I have no idea. Is it Whitney? Sounds like something Whitney would do, right? It does sound like it, but I don't know. If Someone would get their whole thing lasered off, so it's just bald forever. Is that what you like? No. Yeah. You no, know, I, I, you know, I, I didn't, I did when I was younger. Yeah. And now I just, I like it to be fucking there. Yeah. I don't want it to be like, like you know, creeping in on me. Yeah. But like. I like it nice. Yeah. Nice. Something that, you know, something that shows that you're an adult. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the bald thing kind of freaks me out now. Yeah. I think I'm, I've gained so much weight, my, my pubic hair kind of just spread out everywhere and doesn't look like pubic hair anymore. It just looks like hair. <laughs> like, it was, when I was young, it was like a patch. Like, when you see, like, go back to those Navy guys. When you see them, it's like a patch of hair, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a, no naked Navy guys. Nadav, come on, you know what I want. <laughs> do you think they still do this in the navy now like get naked all the time probably not when do you think 
when did you think that the, that the homophobia crept in? Because obviously in World War II, they're just all naked, swimming around, and they're like palling around. It was probably the, if I had to guess, it's probably worse. The worst time was probably like the 80s. In the 80s, you think people probably, like. I think it was probably the most intense, right? Because then the 60s, it's still like a, a certain mindset. And then 70s, maybe it's like creeping in but the 80s 80s aids explodes and people oh are, yeah 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 that's when they're like no 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 dicks yeah no dicks we need to learn more about china i think china is the china's the 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 in the you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i think we need to more Nadav, google google uh, the, gay chinese navy I bet they've got their pictures. Think so? Gay Chinese Navy. What? They are more gay friendly in China than in the U.S. Really? That would be surprising. What about gay Chinese porn? Ooh, ooh good call, Tom. There you go. Oh. You like it? <laughs> Look at that guy! That guy's hands oh like God, this. Oh, this hurts so bad! <laughs> this hurts so bad! This is not what you said it was going to be! Yeah. Look at that! This is what you're watching gay porn! Yeah. <laughs> See that guy's pubic hair? It looks like a mustache. That's a fucking badass look. You like that? I might have to do a mustache. That looks like a legit mustache. That looks like a fucking gun-toting cowboy's mustache. All right, I'm about done with gay Chinese porn. <laughs> what, Ada Dove, type in gay Jewish redhead porn. <laughs> Let's see if a picture of Ada Dove comes up. Can't believe you spelt redhead wrong. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's not gay. It's not gay at all. <laughs> yeah. See, I love when you find I love when you find little things that you didn't know was like a subgenre. Yeah. Then they turn you on and you're like, oh, I really like that. You remember when I was into down blousing? Yeah. Not Nadav, do you know what down blousing is? Yeah. Oh man, that's disrespectful. Is he wearing a yarmulke? He's wearing a yarmulke. <laughs> like that's like it's like can I tell you that's just and signaling? That, is that the same chick that was in the other one? <laughs> she, why is she, she in? She's the only person that comes up. Oh, I bet Jesus. she's transgendered. I bet that's why she's, when you type that in. No. No, that's interracial, Jewish redhead interracial gangbang. Yeah. Very hot compilation. Very hot. Um, no, I love when you find. All right, Nadav, I want you to surprise me. Get Find something. You guys put your heads together and find a subgenre of porn we've never seen. Now, I'm going to give you an example, Nadav. There was something I really enjoyed called down blousing. Do you remember that? And it was like, and it was like cool because it was sexy, but it wasn't, it was kind of like, it was something that would happen to you. Like you'd see it and then, and then you could watch the porn. It, it wasn't that great because it was always like, uh, it was, you know, it was like, it was just kind of sexy or whatever. But I want to find, because last night you guys were talking about handstands. Handstands? That's what I said. I got on this, that's why I was texting those chicks on Instagram to you. Yeah. So I found these chicks. I was like, well, these are really hot. And I was texting to them and, and they're like, oh, in your search, you must have camel toe typed in. And I was like, for real? And he's like, yeah. And, he, and then, and he's like, do you ever Google handstands? I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Just Google handstands," and then I never got into handstands. Wait, I, what? What? I don't understand. What's the handstand thing? I don't. I never saw it. I never saw it. I've never was curious about some of this. Wait! Whoa! 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 Go up. Okay. So this is the thing that Ar Arnie Hammer had. Yeah. Whoa. Bora. So this is a legit fetish. Mm -hmm. Now, can you be shamed for a fetish? Yeah, of course. It's called kink shaming. 
kink shaming. And but when America does it, America like when America s- comes out and goes. So like, what's the difference? And this is probably a very slippery slope for me to like say this. But what is the difference between a a fetish and a sexual preference? A sexual preference meaning like I'm uh, I'm into. Uh, I mean, I, you know, like, uh, like you would never shame someone for being into anal sex, right? Well, some, I mean, people do, I'm sure, and can. But like, what's the difference between like a fetish being uh, like, it's, I just find it bizarre because we're so open and free, right? Like, uh, uh, bears. Okay. Bears being a bear is a fetish, correct? Like being know. into bears. Okay. Is it? I mean, I'm asking. Or is I it? Mean, is it a preference? Well, say you're attracted to bears, right? Yeah. And that whole bear scene is a bear like it's it's a thing you can type into Pornhub and then bears come up. So it's like a, a genre, yeah. right? A genre of porn, sure. But it's like it's a um like a culture almost, you know? Like yeah, it's within someone can be gay and then they could be like, I like this within that world. Yeah. Right. Yeah, how, how how like we talk about homophobia in the eighties? How far back was you would shame someone for being gay, right? Yeah, probably it's, yeah a long time. And then we said, hey man, that is not. There's nothing wrong with that, right? That that needs to be accepted. When are we going to do that with fetishes? I mean, are there people that have fetishes? Like obviously Arnie Hammer. We there we go. Where to go, Nadav? <laughs> Fucking let me know what's on the screen. What is it? I can't read it. Okay, it's pretty. It's pretty good explanation. If you would not be satisf- satisfied without the so-called fetish, then you have an actual fetish for the most part. If you can still be aroused and satisfied without that fetish, it is not a fetish. It is a sexual preference. Wow. Yeah. That's this. This is great podcasting right here. Yeah. We just. We just fucking. That's exactly what I wanted. That's ex. Nadav, great job, buddy. That was a really fucking, that's exactly what I was looking for. So then, okay, so so I don't have any fetishes then. No. I don't have any fetishes because I can always be aroused yeah. with nothing. So then it, it, it turns into a fetish when that's the thing you have to have. You have to have it. Wow. That's fucking fascinating. But according to that, yeah. But you, have, you have sexual preferences though. Yeah. I, I, just sex really and tits. Really? Yeah. Like just, I don't need, I don't need anything. Other than Leanne naked, that's it. That's all I need. I can, and so I have no fetishes. Wow. Do you have any? F- do you have any fetishes? Well, I guess not because I don't have. By that definition, I don't have to have it to feel satisfied, right? Yeah. Hey, I'm fine. I'm dying to see if if knowing that who who like I want to know someone that has a fetish. So like, was, would, is a fetish like Asian schoolgirls? Well, it, but you have to think about it now under the definition we just learned because I think I was thinking of fetish as a preference when yeah. they're saying there's actually a, a big distinction. That if you just like the thing, you know, like, hey, long fingernails or whatever it is that you feet. like, feet or uh, pee or spit or ass, whatever, if you just like that, that's a preference. If you go, I cannot feel sexually satisfied without this thing, then that's a fetish. Like I can't come unless you have you have to have this. That's fucking fascinating. This podcast is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Without using ExpressVPN on the internet, it's like leaving your laptop exposed at a coffee shop while you go to the bathroom. Most of the time, you're probably gonna be fine, but you know what? One day, one day, you're gonna come out and your laptop's going to be gone. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, cafes, hotels, airports, any hacker on that same network can gain access to your personal data. It doesn't take much technical knowledge to hack someone. That's why you need to be safe. ExpressVPN gives you encrypted tunnels, super, super secure uh, lines of communication so that no one can hack into your stuff. It's super easy to use. Fire up the app. Click on one button and you get protected. Better yet, it works on every single one of your devices, your phone, your laptop, your tablet, and so much more. Stay secure when you are on the go. I love ExpressVPN. Right now, secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash cave. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S 
vpn.com slash cave and you get an extra three months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash cave. This podcast is brought to you by HelloFresh. It's hard for me to talk about HelloFresh because the second I talk about HelloFresh, I think about my family. What's great about HelloFresh is you make a great meal and you guys sit down and eat together. HelloFresh is literally, you dis, you miss the skip trips to the grocery store and you go, it gets delivered straight to your door. HelloFresh offers 50 menus and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options and plenty of variety. They, like I said, it is farm to door within a week. And you get the convenience without having to go to the grocery store, which is amazing. It saves you so much money. And these are meals that are all made in 30 minutes or less. I absolutely love HelloFresh. They save me so many trips to the grocery store, especially during this holiday season. No one wants to be in the grocery store. Go to HelloFresh.com slash K14 and use the code K14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Go to HelloFresh.com slash K14 and use the code K14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. It is fascinating. Nadav, do you have any fetishes or any? Do you have a fetish? Is that any? Yeah, he said yeah. I'm putting the headsets on for this. All right, Annie, what's your what's your fetish? Oh, I think I know your fetish. You showed me a picture of it yesterday. There's no chance that you know my fetish, but, but uh, what? <laughs> what do you say? What do you think it is? I'm curious. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Start oh, that sentence. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Tom's getting his earplugs in. <laughs> he goes, "There's no chance you know my fetish." Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, there's no way. I thought it was Asian chicks. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so wait, because I Asian... had an Asian ex girlfriend. Wait, you have to have this thing? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it a common fetish? Uh, more or less. Holy shit, I've never felt this hot inside. I am so nervous <laughs> to say this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it has to happen. Absolutely, yeah. Are you going to tell us? No, no, no. I want to take as long with this as possible. <laughs> okay. Do you want us to guess? Uh, if you'd like. Let's play. No. Oh, I... <laughs> I whispered it to Tom and forgot you were listening. Look, he I, forgot he was on a microphone. I forgot. I like, um, Tom, what is your guess? Um, choking? No. No. Oh. Cho- I mean, every girl likes choking, though. Really? Yeah. Uh, guys, we got a new merch drop. <laughs> new t-shirt. <laughs> every girl likes choking. Two Bears, One Cave. Go to ymastudios.com. Every girl likes choking. And then it's a picture of any. Every girl likes choking. I, wanna... I don't co-sign this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you, a lot of them probably ain't telling you because they probably don't think that. All you right, know. I'm going to try choking Leanne tonight. I'll see how that goes. She might be one of the one. <laughs> she might be the one. Wait, Annie, didn't you say that you could read if women like rough sex? Uh, what? When did I say that? No. No, to, to Drew, you said, oh, wait, wait. No, I can hear when a girl is, is going to be dominant, you know, like wants to take the dominant role, which is more or less rare because that's what it. I want. Yeah, cause, cause that's what I want. So they they kind of all talk in a similar way, and it, it like it brings something up inside me, you know, it like riles me up. So oh. is it, you like that? You like being yes. submissive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like when a girl is is dominant. I can I could be submissive or dominant depending on what they are. But when a girl is dominant at first, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Let's unwrap the present. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, what's your fetish? Tickling. You what? like to tickle or like to be tickled? Everything about it. I don't think it's that. I don't think that's, that's something that's weird. weird. Yeah, but like tickled, like, like yeah. as 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 you're about to come, she's got to tickle you. <laughs> no, like to, to get there, to get like to get, got to be involved in some way. Like it's got to be in the foreplay or something. Mm-hmm. So how do you share that with a partner? Do you go? Do you just start tickling them? <laughs> <laughs> no, you talk about it first. Really? Uh, yeah, you, for sure. I mean, you know, talking about kinks. I mean, I don't get with you know, I I don't fuck vanilla. That's like I haven't done that since fucking high I'm school. Sorry, did you, you know just I mean? refer to us as vanilla? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you are, yeah. Do you know, you know the difference? I mean, there's, there's vanilla, and then there's like, you know, BDSM, and there's. But I'm sorry, I'm I'm a little confused. Is vanilla white person? No, no, no. Vanilla is not white person. Vanilla oh. means you have regular sex. So you never just have like missionary sex. You're saying like only. I, I of course you you know you do it, but not only. No. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I don't do missionary. I mean, I do. I will do missionary, but if I have missionary sex, it's going to be over pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. Because like, it feels that good. Yeah, it's it's wrapped up pretty quickly. I. Uh, what do you go for? I. There's one position that I did that I really liked. We did this thing called um, 
any, by the way, we're not done talking to you. Um, yeah, all right, man. We did this thing called uh, Kama, the 12 Nights of Kama Sutra. Sure. And we did different Kama Sutra poses. And pull up the Kama Sutra poses. I'll show you the one that I did that was fucking insane that is a treat for me. Now, it's not a fetish because I can have an orgasm without it. Pull up. Okay. Uh, give me. Give me. Oh, my God. I want to do. So that was the funnest fucking time I've ever had. It. it this is what it is. Okay. I, I, I don't see it, but this is what it is. Say you're sitting in a chair, right? Yeah. And then say, uh, and my side's on the bed like this. I'm sitting on the chair like this, but I'm on the bed like this. Okay. So my body's in chair position like this. And then she's in chair position in front of me with her legs over my legs. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, it was so much fun. That 12 Nights Kama Sutra we did in December, I may do that again. It was so much fun because Leanne got really into it. Uh, let me explain the story so that for the people that don't know. So I have a group of friends called the campers and we we do vacations together and it's like all our kids are the same age and uh and is it wait was it up there? No. It wasn't 3? No, that's no oh. no, that's champagne room. Is that what that's called? Pretzel dip? Doggy style done there. I I might do a new sexual pose tonight. Yeah. Yeah. G Wiz. Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain. I'm texting this to Leanne. What, what? Leanne doesn't even know we're having sex tonight. She's like, well, I thought we were going to dinner. Um, so, uh, so. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 11. No, no, because no. you're laying on the bed. Oh, oh, oh. You're laying on the bed. So. um, You're not talking about versus cowgirl, right? I couldn't no, really picture no. what you were saying. I've, Leanne doesn't like that. I have a joke about it in one of my specials. She's like, what am I supposed to look at? Your feet? And I was like, through your eyes. Look at whatever the fuck you want. Look at the wall for all I care. The good X? I don't think. Anyway, so we do the 12 nights of Christmas where we do 12 parties during in the month of December. 12 times we get together and we party 12 times in the month of December. And then on the, fir and then on the first night, everyone was really excited and I said, well, we should do the 12 nights of Kama Sutra for the couples. And so we'll, we'll pick, up a, pick out a sex position out of the Kama Sutra book. Yeah. We'll then email it to every, text it to everyone. And then we'll all try it, and then we'll text our notes in the morning. And it was fun as fucking shit. And by the way, one couple uh, drugged their kids and did all 12 on the first night because they didn't understand the thing. They give their kids fucking uh, Advil, uh, John all PM or whatever. <laughs> did all the moves on the first night. Two of the couples barely did it and wouldn't text, but Leanne and I did it. And it was, and she'd come in and be like, hey, we got a new pose today. And I'd be like... Okay, like it was the greatest. We had sex 12 times in the month of December. That's great. And it was 12 new positions, and you'd start some and be like, this is kind of weird, and yeah. it was so much fun. But it was kind of interesting because you get, you get in rote with sex. You get in to doing the same shit all the time because that's the thing that everyone likes, but it's kind of nice to switch things up. Sure. It's kind of nice to switch things up, and I wonder if I should find a fetish. Do you think you'd be happier with a fetish? Well, maybe no. with, with a preference, <laughs> or, but yeah, he's got, he has to be in the tick. Wait, so how do you break it out? Do you, when you, when you're like, you meet someone new, you like her and it's obvious that you're going back, you know, you're back at your place or whatever. Hey, can you, you hold these two peacock feathers? <laughs> do you, do you like soft pitch it? You know what I mean? Or do you, how do you get into it usually? Um, so any girl that I get with is going to be, you know, really sexually charged. Like we're just going to talk about sex pretty much instantly. Um, and so it ju it just gets into that real quick. It's like somehow we talk about something that's this is a kink or like I, I bet you like to get choked or some shit like that. And then it just it just goes from there. It just gets fucking wild. And Any so girl that I get with is going to be sexually charged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like stupidly sexually charged. Yeah, that's, that's the only ones that like I. That's the only ones that end up liking me. You know what I mean? Like we, I don't. Do you I don't, realize, get the ones I don't that think are, I've ever had anyone sexually charged. A girl, you mean? Yeah. Oh man. I don't think I could fuck with I wonder if that's my energy though. Cuz I'm not like I'm not like I like having sex but I don't I'm not like overtly yeah. sexual. I, I'm I, in a weird way I don't know. I want to I could spend the night talking our first night as opposed to yeah. Do you like being choked? Yeah, yeah. Like that would make me very uncomfortable to t talk about what I like sexually with a girl I'm on a date with or when when we start meeting first like meeting. First date, yeah. Like that's the least of my 
I mean, this looks like Florida State colors. Yeah, it sure the, does. There's two people that paint themselves. <laughs> Is that the, the position game? you were talking about? Which one? Uh, the one that you like to do, the sitting one. Uh, no, it it's not up there. All right. I don't see it. Although, forward those links to me. I'm going to send them to Leanne and be like, I can't wait to come home tonight. You better not be on your period. The, uh, the, what were we just saying? I don't know. You were talking about how you've never uh, been with a girl that's sexually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You've never been with a nympho is what you're saying, basically. No, I've never been with a nympho. Mm. I don't can I tell you, I didn't even think that's real. It's real. Like, there are girls that are, like, I, I, I think I've been brainwashed in the, like, in the category of, uh, of of women's rights. Does that make sense? I think so. Like I think I'm I think I'm I'm fucked up when it comes to sex. I don't think I had the same. Like I was always like you don't you like almost like traditional values about like uh, respect a woman, respect her, like, but I never respect her in the thing as treating her as an equal of saying things I would say to myself. I would right. love, if, I would have probably loved it in college if a girl was like, so what do you like sexually? I never said that to anyone. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't, I don't want to assume we're having sex. Right. I don't want like, I respected the woman too much. That's what about what, what you started having sex? I, I was, I mean, we try stuff and it was fun. You know, when you're college, you try everything, but it was, and it was fun, but I was always very cognizant of if the if the chick was like not i never i would never in a million years choke a girl and never in a million fucking years yeah and if a girl said choke me i would be pushed back. i would be like no i won't do that because i don't because i'm like you're drunk and you're gonna regret it the next morning and i'm you're gonna yeah fucking strangle Plus, marks I'm just, no way you're not gonna be dead soon yeah <laughs> by the way i might i might take it way too far yeah. and just be like <laughs> She's like, well, less, less, and I'm She's like, like choke me. You're like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, see, all these things you're saying is exactly why you haven't heard it before. Because yeah. they're afraid of all of those things. Wow. A lot of them want, I'm t- I promise you. Okay. I promise you. That's an interesting poll to put on Instagram. Oh, man. Put it on your mom's house studios, okay? I think you'll be surprised. Okay. What, ladies, do you like to be choked during sex? Put it on your mom's house studios. Yeah, or actually, I'll, I'll put it on mine. I'll put it on mine right now. I'll put it on mine. I'll do a poll. And okay, you ready? Sure. We're doing two bears, one cave right now. Yeah, how you doing? And w- this is the question, ladies: Do you like to be choked during sex? Are you gonna put a poll in there? Yeah, I'm gonna put a poll, and then let's see, poll. Ladies. I'll take a guess. I imagine it'll be around 70. 70% say yes? I think so. Jesus. I would guess. Yeah, I was nev- uh, that was never said to me. I definitely never did that. But I do remember this one girl with a lot of problems. I, I, my, my, I had a buddy who had, by the way, my buddy had never choked a chick. When we moved to LA, there was a chick he had sex with, and she was saying she liked to be choked. And yeah. he was like, I cannot do that. He was like, I'm... Th- it was almost like like when I went to college, when, when I was hitting my sexual like uh, stardom, like when the highest sexual whenever I was going to have it, that was like when all the like no means no campaigns were on campus. And you were like, that was where your grooming was like, oh, no means no, as opposed to, do you know, do you know, <laughs> you know, Rocco Sofredi? <laughs> yes, yes. So, you know, he does like super like aggressive sex. Yeah. But... He like has a way of doing it. Like he actually, he he knows what he's doing, right? Yeah. So he, but he's famous in that world, in the adult film world, and he did an interview where he said that he brought in a guy, like a Russian guy, and he's Rocco's directing it, and in this interview he says that the he's like right, actually, the Russian guy just fucking smacks the girl. 
And he's like, God, he's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm doing what you do. He's like, no, that's not how I do it. He's like, beating the shit out of the girl. He's like, dude, you have to like, there's a way about this. Like, yeah. you connect with them and it's like slow choking. I've never done it, so I wouldn't even know how to do it. But the guy was See, like, I watched your movie, so I just thought you just hit him. There's, I'm not going to say the guy's name, but there's a very famous dude that's in trouble now because he likes to have rough, kinky sex where he spits on chicks and, and chokes them. And I'm certain, and then all of a sudden their girls are coming out and going like, I didn't like that. Does that, does that make sense? That's yeah. How, and that's how I was, grew, my age, I'm 49, but that's how I was taught to have sex. In learning, being on at, on campus at Florida State, that was like, no, you don't just do shit because you like it. Right. And and by the way, also, you, I, in my head I was always like, you don't, you don't do any of that shit. Like you, I, I didn't know that that was even a thing, to be honest with you. What, choking someone? Slapping, yeah. fucking Slapping degrading. and spitting on no, someone? I, I did not know that was a Look thing. at the, the picture. I for swear. The, picture for the Dodgers. Wait, the person you're talking about, is that a famous person? Yeah. You, we can't say who it is? We can. I just don't want to tell him. I don't want an extra dump on him. Well, we can. Can we just Dave, cut this? Dave Portnoy. Dave Portnoy? Oh, yeah. He's in. They did a huge article on him saying that, you know, he's it, it, ultimately just kind of kink shaming him. Fetish shaming him because that's what he likes. He, and the, there's a lot of people like that. The pitcher for the Dodgers would like, may, he would he would be up front with them and go, just so you know, I like it rough. And then the girls would say, yeah. And then all of a sudden, maybe two people's version of rough wasn't the same or whatever. Right, right. And then and then you hear that. So and like I, I swear to God, when I say I'm never, I have could count on one hand the times I've smacked someone on the ass, and it's all Leanne, and it's just and we're married at that time. I would have never smacked a girl on the ass. Uh, not married to her. You think it hard, you mean? Like, yeah, like smack her on the ass. Yeah. I would never have done that. Never. Just not my thing. I'm, I don't know, man. I wonder if I would have liked that more. Maybe. I can't imagine. I'm, I mean, I, 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 I have intimacy <laughs> issues also. <laughs> what would happen if all of a sudden tonight you just are having sex and you go, <laughs> you spit her, you smack her. <laughs> <laughs> Smack. She's like, what the fuck did I do to deserve that? They go, oh, I'm into it. You go, I talked to Annie and I'm into it. <laughs> I'm into it. Oh, by the way, I'm going to shit on your chest now. <laughs> by the way, this is what I'm into. Oh, That's shit. so interesting that yeah. what, what one person's into, someone would be like, I'm definitely not into that. Oh, my God. But hey, I guess the thing is, Here's the thing about the, can I, my my guess on this on rough sex thing. You go, I like it rough. Someone can misunderstand that. Part of probably the thrill of the rough stuff is not like here are exactly the things that I like and how I want to do it. Do you know what I mean? Like that kind of probably yeah. ruins the thrill for somebody that's into that to be like, no, no, no. But are you are you okay with this degree? So then, so the, oh, I oh fuck, I just hit my elbow. So what but that. Is interesting because I I I was never honestly like that at all. So yeah, so you're saying part of the rough stuff is I like it rough, but then you think the charge for the guy is taking it just one step I over think, the line. I think the charge for either person that's into that, that's into being rough, is like, all right, let's see what you do. Like let let you know, not not getting like. Do you give me permission for this and permission for this and permission for that? Like, and then now I would like to apply another three pounds of pressure. Yeah. Like it's, it's probably like, I bet it, I bet it is that like some surprise element to it. That's really fun. And some it is. danger, a little bit of danger. It makes it feel like it's real for them. Sure. So like, it's funny because that's really interesting because there is a thing about watching porn when you see when like when that Rocco's Freddy's and Savannah Sampson uh -huh. thing there is a moment where you go, I don't think she's acting. You know, you're like, this is this looks very real. Did you watch his documentary? Yeah, I did. On Netflix? Yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> when he's like, my mom died, and so I went to visit her oldest friend, and then I just stuck my dick in her mouth, and you're like, what? And he's like, and then I cried and I came and then she cried. I'm like, what's happening in, in this story, dude? You're like, you talk about the wiring being all fucking crossed in somebody. Dude, that is a fascinating insight, Tom, that yeah. the, the, the charge is not, 
I, I've always thought the charge is the physicality of it. Like, like I like to move my – the charge is the look in the person's eyes. Yeah, sure. Oh, man. Now I'm going to try it rough. You're going to try it tonight? Yeah, but you got to uh, – I, I don't even – I wouldn't even know what to do. This podcast is brought to you by Movement. Movement watches are the best thing out – Dude, there's nothing better than having a sick-ass watch game. The only thing better than having a sick-ass watch game is giving someone a sick-ass watch game. So that's a great holiday gift this this season is giving someone watches. What I love about movement is they're not break-the-bank expensive. You've got watches as cheap as $95. They have clean, minimal designs, and a quality product. They have sold almost 2 million watches in over 160 countries. I'm telling you right now, this is the perfect gift for your friends or family or significant others, and it's and 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 it complements any gift you can ever give somebody. Go to mvmt.com slash cave right now and get yourself, your friends, your loved one, a sleek, beautiful watch. Be the big winner this holiday season with a gift from Movement. Go to movement.com slash cave. That's mvmt.com slash cave. And join the movement. This episode of Two Bears, One Cave is also brought to you by MacGruber, now on Peacock. Spread the word, you friggin' turds. MacGruber is back. After riding in prison for more than a decade, America's ultimate hero and uber patriot is released to take on one final mission. MacGruber's old nemesis, Brigadier Commander Enos Queeth, is intent on destroying the free world, and the U.S. government knows there is only one man who can stop him. With the help of his old team, Vicky St. Elmo and Dixon Piper, MacGruber sets out to save the day one throat rip at a time. Classic MacGruber. Super funny. I'm a big fan. I'm going to check it out on Peacock based on the iconic Saturday Night Live sketch and the cult classic movie. The Peacock original series stars Will Forte, Kristen Wiig, Ryan Phillippe, Sam Elliott, Lawrence Fishburne, and Billy Zane. Binge the entire first season of MacGruber December 16th Go to PeacockTV.com to sign up. Like, hey, type in rough sex. <laughs> type, in, no, way, type in how to have. How to have rough sex. Yeah. I should make it clear, by the way, just because it's, you know, responsible. Uh, it, it is really all about consent. Not all, the, like you're saying, it's not like to the T, like, hey, can I do three more pressure? Oh, you fuckers. I and he's backing that. himself out of this Jesus one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, how to explore your desire to have rough sex. Oh, you do, you, you really are in this fucking community. You called, you called vanilla sex, vanilla sex. Yeah. Wait, let me ask you this. Um, with, with tickling. User. Let's say, I mean, I, I get like out of the gate. You know, your first time. But, like, if you're going to have sex Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, yeah, each each time has to have it for you? Yeah, and, and it's not like, you know, it hasn't, doesn't have to be like a whole segment of a thing, you know. It's just like, it just has to be involved, period. And And if you're, you know, in BDSM at all, if you're doing anything like that, I mean, you do all kinds of shit. Can I tell you, I think I know my fetish that I'd like. Yeah? Yeah. It would be free fall orgasms. Free fall orgasms. Like I like, I love the feeling. Of, like if any likes being ticklish, I love the feeling of losing my stomach. Like when you punched it in the car the other day, and you started taking off. Yeah, that feeling. I bet Leanne would like free fall orgasms. I don't. I, don't even, I still don't even know what it is. It's. Oh my god! This is a great fucking idea. So, imagine, but I don't want to be in charge of it. So, imagine you would have to be the one to give me the orgasm. So, I hope you're into this. So we get in your car today after this. Okay. And then you start jerking me off, right? Okay. And then right as I'm about to come, you punch it in your fucking car. Yeah. And we go fucking zero to a hundred. And, and I'm like, ah! like that, because that feeling of losing your stomach in a car. Yeah. Or on a fucking roller coaster. Yeah. Or they have that thing where they pull the pin and you drop. Yeah. I would love to have an orgasm as you free fell. Like that, I, I love free the feeling of free fall. Yeah. So I wonder, see if there's a thing as a free fall or orgasm. Like lose your stomach. Like be scared maybe. Be like, scared. Like where someone goes, huh, and you're like, eh, you know. Yeah, maybe that rough stuff would do it for you though. Enjoy, women who enjoy sky, what? Accidental orgasm. Wait, would, um, would you like if she was rough with you? No. 
No. No, I don't. Yeah, I want to be treated like a human. I don't know. I don't. I can't imagine. Like she talks shit to me, and I'm like, hey, please don't. Yeah. I provide for our family. Like treat me with a little respect. And so I'd, I'd be like, I, yeah, I don't. I don't like any degradation thing. Yeah, you fucking piece of shit. You wouldn't like that. Little piggy. And you're like. <laughs> And she writes pig slut on you in, in, a, in like, the fucking lipstick on your chest. Do you realize how quickly and easily she could degrade me if we were having sex? She's like, look at these fat fucking tits. And I'm like. <laughs> She's like, you don't even have underarm pits. You have just big fat folds, double chin piece of shit, losing your hair. Just fucking look at you. You got splotches on your face. Your fucking ankles are swollen. Your watch looks too tight on you. Your wedding ring is all wrapped up on you. Just ripping me apart. I'm like, hey, are you trying to make me come or cry? <laughs> and then you both, both. <laughs> I bet coming and crying feels good. At, I bet. I bet it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Did any just say yup? Yep. <laughs> Sure does, man. Annie, you are a fucking savage. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking weird, man. <laughs> God damn it. We gotta have we gotta you gotta try that tonight. Ooh, let's see what the poll is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now usually these polls you take can, a minute, right? No. Oh. You put it on Twitter? Fifty eight percent of women like being choked during sex. Yeah. So far. Freaks are still asleep. Something's going. Something's wrong. Yeah, you're right. Well, you're right. <laughs> Freaks are fucking right now. Yeah, you're right. Right now, this is just house moms <laughs> yeah. taking kids to school right now going, yeah, I like being choked. Oh, what's that, honey? Yeah, yeah, TikTok. I'm on TikTok. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. 58% is way higher than Have I thought. Have you ever pitched it to Liam? No. And would you try it? I mean, I, t- I offered to tie her up one time, and she's like, no. Will you offer to choke her tonight? I already know she would be like, no. Well, can you, like, will you do it just to report back to us? But what if I found out she has been ridden to rough sex her whole time and I've never been doing it rough? Oh. What, like, that would bum me out because I'd be like, so then what was the other sex? Like, what if we had rough sex and I was just like, and then she, she would have tried it. We, she would have told me when we first started dating, right? Like, that's when someone who's into it is into it. Don't know. As, as it's such an interesting thing because it all ties back into what we were talking about about fetish shaming. Yeah. Because if you are in, then all of a sudden we need to make a law no rough sex for anyone. Because if you're going to fetish shame people, yeah. that's going to be a thing that happens. Then you have to say no rough. No one's allowed to have rough sex. And then you're like, well, that's not like because because you could use that against anyone, you know. But that's the whole point. Is like. Any of the stuff I've done with chicks other than coming really fast, and I've had people not like that, and be very vocal of it. Really? Oh, God, yeah. You yeah. want to know what's funny? That's a kink. Some girls are into that. And and it's pretty obvious why. Some girls are into guys who come fast? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a real uh, kink. Google that. I'm, let me know that community. <laughs> that's a real Because I, I can do that easy. How fast? Oh, with a stranger? I could do it. Bef- I, I've done it without even penetrating them. Yeah. Well, the first time I lost my virginity, I I put the condom on and got on top. One, two, over. I looked down. My dick was between her butt cheek and the bed. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I didn't even have sex with a person. I just had sex with a mattress. I didn't even need her here. Uh, it's a little hard to find on Google. <laughs> Is it? I literally just, got, I can promise you, I just got a DM from a girl yesterday that said she was into that not playing i'll show you after the show wait show us fast now fast orgasm fetish I, I mean i can't fast orgasm fetish how to ejaculate faster who the fuck's googling that wait i thought everyone josh potter so uh, so any when you have sex how long yeah. do you last for sex uh, i mean it i mean it depends but like uh, the thing about bdsm is there's tons of foreplay you know what i mean so it's yeah. like there's not as much penetration i guess it's not as focused so you don't have to like hold it like you know if you're just doing vanilla you know what i mean yeah how long do you last during sex mm, i guess it depends i mean like five minutes is is like a solid session for me i can't imagine i last longer than five minutes i think that's five to ten yeah uh, if it goes past five then i then it's not happening for me and I'm really? Just, yeah, yeah, no, and it's and it's not going to happen. Or I got to focus, and even if it happens, it won't be great. 
Sometimes I just go right away. I go, this one's for me, and oh, I just get in there. I, by the way, I do. I've, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. always, I've, I mean, some most of the times it's like they're all for me. Like it's just like let's get this out of the way, and let's go to fucking Target. <laughs> and I was like, okay. She's like, I don't want to walk around with a fucking baby at Target going, "Hook him and get laid. Hook him and get laid. You get off the plane." Oh, and I was like, okay, cool. I'm glad we see her the same way. And then that you just get in there. But that's not five minutes. Is not too too. Is that is that we talking about when it's super fast? No, no. Sometimes no, I can. I, sometimes I can go like. I mean, I, I think there's been times where it's like, like. I mean, under a minute. I can definitely. I'm definitely finishing under a minute. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's had those. But yeah, you. Should, I don't like. I don't understand people who have sex for a long period of time. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm. That's not desirable for me either. That, remember when you were a kid, you thought that was the end game. I know, just to be able to last. But all night. it's it's that you want the playing like the other sexual stuff to go you know what i mean so like there's oral and then there's foreplay yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that stuff can last long but you don't want the actual interaction what i just realized i have sex the same way i eat oh yeah I, it's i can't and as you said that i was like foreplay wrap it up get let's just get the fucking meal and then as i heard that i went oh yeah that's how you have i sex. just i like it's all of a sudden it's like i just want to i just want to go like i don't God damn it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I do foreplay at all. I mean, not, not at all, but like, I'm not like a, like make a meal out of it guy. Yeah. I'm like a, hey, let's get this protein in us. <laughs> I might have a beer for the next episode. Okay. I might have a couple beers. Yeah? Yeah, because I, I, I can, if I can get a buzz right now, pass out on the plane, then I'll be good for work later. It's a good plan. Yeah. Do you want a beer? No. Why not? It's nine in the morning. Um, I just honestly feel like that any time that I drink in the daytime, I just immediately want to sleep. Yeah, so, that's, that's the whole point. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want to go to sleep. What do you have to do today? Go to sleep, Tommy. You're so responsible. Yeah. I don't know what's happened. Like, I would like to. I would like to one when you go off the rails, right? Yeah. I would, that call me then, and I'll move to Austin. Because like you, you were off the rails when we first started hanging out. You that was when you started gaining your weight, mm -hmm. and that's taught me off the rails where you were practicing making pecan pies every day. Yeah, yeah. And so that Tom is an, is last night you were like, the, uh, the, we opened a second bottle of wine, and they go around and they go to Tom. I'm telling you guys, they go to Tom, and you went, no, thank you, and I went. Oh. I was like, well, whatever you're gonna pour in that glass, pour in mine. Yeah. And then you were like, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I, I'm good. I, I like, I, I don't understand that feeling with drinking. Like, I don't understand the, the like. So, did you get an, any, any buzz from the wine? I got a little bit of a buzz because I was so hungry when we sat down. How long did those drinks take to come? <laughs> I wolfed. I, I drank that mar, martini so f whatever it was. I drank that thing so fucking fast I know. that I felt sick. You did? Yeah, I was like, it, it was like way too much of not good stuff into my body way too fast, <laughs> and I started getting like, like I started having like a almost like a panic attack, yeah. and then I was like, I was like something's going on. You and Kale were talking about something, and then I started drinking wine, and I was like, I'm okay. I haven't I haven't eaten all day, and I'm yeah. just murdering booze. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm like, I'm feel upside down right now. And then the and it was when the queso was there, and I was eating queso, going like. Okay, something has to change here. And then the steaks came, and I was like, okay, we're good. Yeah. Oh, rah, 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 rah. yeah. I'm a fucking... Rah, 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 rah. You ate that steak so fast. Yeah. And it's just like... Uh, it's just like... How like, you come? Yeah. Okay. How do I learn that? How do I learn to slow it down? You got to learn to enjoy... Like, you can't think of just coming as the goal and, like, the, the only fun part. It's everything else it make the other things enjoyable the foreplay the oral the whatever else you're into the kink stuff like enjoy that stuff so you're not just like no it's just about coming like you can enjoy the other stuff and then that's just the icing on the cake at the end right because you could enjoy the other stuff instead of being like why stop let's get past this stuff and just come so well okay that's interesting so i need to look at sex as like a as like going out to eat yeah as opposed to just going to Burger King. Like, cause I treat everything like just going to Burger King. I treat, or going to Hooters. I treat everything like Hooters. 
where when they put it on the table, I'm like, I want to make sure I get as many shrimp as I can before other people start touching them. Like this is me. This is me when the buffalo shrimp come out from Hooters. Yeah, and they're and they and they someone will go, oh, did you? Can we get blue cheese with that? And then I go, cool. I got to jump on them. I don't need the blue cheese. I'll just, and I, but I want the blue cheese, but I'll just eat it without the blue cheese so that I'm ahead of the game. How many come out in an order? My mouth's watering. <laughs> How many come out in an order? 25, 25 I think, 20. <laughs> How many them. will you take down? I, I'll eat, I will eat all 20. If the, the buffalo isn't out there, I will just go, I, in my head I'll go, bird eat these, and then when she comes back, we need another order. <laughs> They're so good, dude. They're so good. They're like the best thing Hooters You'll be with has. Somebody who's just waiting on blue cheese, and they're like, "Wait a minute, all this shrimp are gone." And I go, "I think they shortchanged us. We'll get them more." <laughs> I love those those fucking shrimps. Yeah, I can tell you the, where I was the first time I had them. Where I was in Tampa, uh, just out by USF, over yeah. by uh, over by the hospital. There's a Hooters there. Yeah. And I went with my dad, and my dad was my dad was like, "Have you had their buffalo shrimp?" And I was like, "No." And he goes, "Buddy, they're fucking awesome." And we had a pitcher full of beer sitting at a high top. The restaurant is uh, I forget the road I, th- I forget the road that's right there because I haven't been in Florida in a while. But we were sitting on the far left side of the restaurant at a high top, and they put them down. I ate four plates of them. Really? I didn't get wings. I just went, "Give me another one." And then they came in, and I ate them so thick. I go, "Give me another one." And the lady's like, you're going to have four plates of these? She's like, that's like 100 shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even eat the wings. And by the way, i got to be honest with you, I really haven't even fucked with the Hooters wings since. I'll get the wings because I'm at Hooters, but I won't even fuck. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about Hooters this much. They haven't even given me a fucking plane, and I'm talking about Hooters nonstop. <laughs> Do you know what they said? They hit me up, and they're like, hey, we want to send you some merch. They're trying to still work out the plane. want to send you some merch. I want to. I'll read my reply to Hooters because it was. Oh my god! Is it bad that and he's got girls sliding in his DMs going, "I like guys who come fast," and I got Hooters in my DMs, <laughs> going like, "Hey man, I appreciate you liking us, but this is a little aggressive." Like we don't even like our company that much. Um. God damn it! Where's Hooters? Hooters was like, hey, we'll send you guys some merch. What sizes are you? I was like, Tom's a double XL. I'm an XL. <laughs> uh-huh. What goes, size shirt do you wear? Right now, I'm just rocking double XLs so they're not tight. Um, I'm right on the cusp, though. He goes, hey, man, we're working on the plane situation, but in the meantime, there's an address. Is there an address where we can send some goodies? What size shirts work for you, Tom, and the lovely Leanne? I went, of oh, course. If you can get it to Austin by next Monday, I'll wear it on the podcast. XL for me, double XL for Tom. And if you can send Leanne a full server's outfit within a medium, that would be great. That's great. That would be cool. Yeah. But can I tell you? Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to have sex with her. I'd just be going, if she came in that outfit, I'd go, let's go get wings. Let's go get the <laughs> buffalo shrimp. Let's go get buffalo shrimp. Let's go get buffalo shrimp. I'd be, I really honestly, if she came in that outfit, I'd be like, I'm just hungry now. Yeah. Um. Okay. We should wrap this up. Do we get burritos? Did he yep. say yep? He said yep. And I'm gonna have a burrito and a beer. Okay. I'm gonna have a burrito and a beer, and I'm gonna uh, and and oh, I'm so excited right now. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, tune in next week to see me enjoy a beer and enjoy a breakfast burrito. I'm gonna take my time with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it over one hour. Okay, I'm not. Okay, that was crazy then, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, fucking, it's gonna be cold as fuck. Yeah. Eat it while it's hot. Burn your mouth. Fucking respect the chef. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. All right. All right, love you. Love you. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears on Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.